Good morning. Lovely to be able to share this five minutes with you again. And I want us to get right into it. I want to read by starting off with Revelation chapter 18, verse 1. And the Bible reads as such. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. Now, when we look at this, the prophetic word of, of God tells me that Babylon is going to fall. In actual fact, in in Years of old, we got this clear impression that the influence that the world had over people had been broken for a while. But somehow in a period of about 167 years, the devil has successfully again blinded God's people. Now, we are told that we will again see the, the world's condition as it truly is. Now, in order to better understand this, let's go back to, to Daniel chapter 1. Now, remember I told you that names have meanings. And as we understand these meanings, we get a better and clear picture of what's really going on. Remember last week or this past study, we realized that the devil's objective is to manipulate us, to, to, to influence our thinking, to get us to think the way he wants us to think. But we also find that God has an influence over this, that by our choice, we can choose to see and not be blinded. By our choice, we can choose to have eyes self so that we can see the true state of the world and of the situation we find ourselves in. Now, I want to highlight two points today in Daniel chapter 1. And that is that I want to come back to the names. We have Jerusalem. Now, the word Jerusalem means if one understands it correctly, the city of peace. Now, when God created this world, it was a world where there was um, peaceful circumstances. Everybody could do what they wanted to do. And while they were obedient to God, He kept His hand over them and allowed each man to prosper. But then the devil came along. And what he did is he took away peace from, the, from planet Earth. It's terrible. The first influences of Adam and Eve choosing to be disobedient to God's command is that Adam turned out by blaming Eve. And Eve turned out by blaming the serpent. And by rights, who they really were blaming for, the condition that they found themselves in, was God. And isn't it terrible, dear friends, that when we see the terrible things happening around us, we, like Adam and Eve, in the end up blaming God. But I want you to change your thinking. I want you to realize that this is not God that has brought this um, disruption on planet Earth. But it is the choice that Adam and Eve made to, he to heed the words of the devil. So th the word Babylon here has, a, has quite a few meanings. It means the world in general. And it's strange, if you look around us, the manipulation of the devil is to get us confused about everything. Confused about if we should marry or not marry. Um, you know, or to live in the same condi conditions of marriage but not yet marry. Um, to do what we want to do without giving heed to any of God's commandments. Jesus made it very clear in his temptation that man will not live by bread alone. But every word that comes out of the mouth of God. When I look at this, the world is trying to get you to forget that there is, there is a creator. And that he has a requirement of you. Set a requirement of you. He is going to ask you for accountability of the life that you've lived and the choices you've made. He is still ultimately the judge of this world. But I also want you to notice that another thing about the word Babylon, although it means the world and the objective of the world is to manipulate you, like Darwin did, he actually got the world to believe that we come from 
you know, a, from creation and that there is no creator. Yet the word of God says, remember that I was the creator. And it's part of his instruction to us found in Exodus 20. Go and look it up for yourself. Particularly as you look at the fourth commandment. Remember that I created the world in six days. And when I created you, I created you in my image. That was Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. I want to go further. I also want you to notice that the word Babylon means confusion. And dear friends, I want you to understand that ignorance is sometimes no excuse uh, when it comes to the law. Claiming that you don't know what's going on doesn't make it right. I want you to understand that part of man's responsibility is to find out what is right. And remember this, that the, the world's ambition or objective which is manipulated by the devil is to get you to question God. I also want to go further by um, encouraging you as Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 says to come out of the state of confusion. Come out of Babylon and don't be partakers of her, her ignorance but come to a knowledge of truth. Remember it is truth that will set you free. Today it is my wish that as you go about your choices today that you will choose to know God's will in every matter and not allow the will to manipulate you and getting you to do the things that you do. But may God's will be done in your life today. May God bless you as you make this decision for Him.